Welcome. Let us begin the interactive adventures of Dog Mendoza and Pizza Boy. So this is a point and click, goofy detective type game based on, I think, a comic book. I don't know. I've never read the comics or graphic novel or comic book or something, but let's just jump right on in. Remember those monster stories you heard as a kid? Mm -hmm. Well, all those stories were true. No shit. And they all live right here in this godforsaken city. Lisbon, Portugal. Damn. A place where nightmares crawl just outside the corner of your eyes. Where the air is tense with the resounding sound of footsteps that belong to no one. Where every shadow quivers with eyes unseen by... Dog? Who are you talking to? What? Pizza Boy, don't interrupt my intro! Don't you think we have more pressing matters at hand? Oh yeah, and how did we get into this mess? I seriously have no idea. Tell it to me as if I were five years old. Well, it was a normal day at the office when someone knocked on the door. The office? Boring! Start with a car chase. A car what? Fine, let's start with a car chase. Sounds good to me. Sporty Cola. Dog, I can't believe you pulled my head off. Again! It's not my fault. I confused you with another gargoyle. You all look alike. That's racist. Guys, why don't we concentrate on the driving? You know, keep our eyes on the road? Don't tell me how to do my job, pizza boy. Oh, sweet, I get to shoot the boxes. If you don't stop those gargoyles, they'll finish the ritual. And then the whole world will be engulfed by the flames of some ancient demon. Um, not that all you demons are bad, mind you. Right, Pazul? It's all your fault, Yuriko. If you hadn't blown our cover, none of this would have happened. You should have kept delivering pizzas. My job was easier without you poking around. Says the werewolf who could have turned and finished the coven right there. Shut up, pizza boy. That plan lacks elegance. Look, dog, I'm a little bit tired of being the butt of your jokes and your personal scapegoat. Butt of the jokes? That's our own little gargoyle's place. Thanks, guys. You always make me feel like an important part of this team. I feel even more uncomfortable than that 6,000-year-old demon trapped inside a little girl's body. Okay, Pizza Boy, I think we got him. Prove you're not completely useless and finish them off. Light that cocktail I left on the back seat and blow him up. I'm on it, dog. It's on. Yeah, that should do it. I'm Dog Mendoza, cockatrice turds, and you are all guilty of breaking the code. Have you cleaned the waste paper basket yet, pizza boy? So much for the glamour of working as an occult detective's intern. I don't think that's the sound an empty basket makes. Do what I ask you or I'll reduce your salary. What salary? Exactly. There's someone at the door. If it's for the rent again, just say no hablo portugues until they leave. It looks like a young woman. Maybe it's a case. A girl? Quickly! Hazul! Gargoyle! Everyone to their places! Clean the crumbs off the sofa! 
put those pizza boxes in the trash can. We have work to do. Look as cool as possible, but not cooler than me, of course. Hi, my name is Nadia. Which of you is Doc Mendonca? That would be me, honey. And what brings such a delicate flower as yourself to a humble place like this? I read that you're a detective of the occult, and I think I might be needing your services. Tell little doggy what's the problem. A poltergeist? Zombies? Vampires? Gargoyles searching through your dumpster? I'm scared, and not really sure of what I know. Do you believe a curse can bring people back from the dead? Maybe you can help me figure out how deep this goes, and how dangerous it is. That kind of job has our name written all over it. Count us in. Uh, hmm. We would like to ask you some questions first before we can take the case. Are you in some kind of danger? I don't think so. I'm scared, but I still don't know if I'm in some kind of danger. Who or what are you scared of? Something happened to me. I can't really put it into words, but I might be in need of some help. What kind of job is it? A stakeout? Personal protection? You want an exorcism? That's overwhelming. Maybe I came to the wrong place. I don't know if a detective is really what I need. What? No, Pizza Boy, you and your boring questions. Don't ruin this for me. I, I mean us. It's business. Meeting a new client is almost like interrogation. You not only need to know why they landed at your doorstep, but also everything that would help your case. Sometimes there are details people hide without knowing it. Sometimes they just don't dare to tell the whole truth. I'll try my best with this new potential client. Although I think Dog will ruin it for me. Remember, it's all about asking the right question and having the right reaction to their answers. This will squeeze the truth out of them. Now I have to retrace those questions to see how much information I can get out of them. Um, so... Yeah, he asked if uh, she's in danger first. Are you in some kind of danger? I don't think so. I'm scared, but I still don't know if I'm in some kind of danger. I mean, the thing that's haunting me hasn't done me any harm yet. Hmm, empathize, confront, or tease. Let's try to shake it out. If you're not in danger, why are you here? Like I said, I'm scared. You don't know who's behind all this. Besides, I don't think I'm the one in danger. Its threat extends far beyond me. Who is in danger? I don't know. I think many people are in danger, but I don't know exactly who. Can you name at least one? Knowing what I know, it could be anyone. Oh, pizza boy. You clearly don't know how to treat a girl. And that's why you'll die alone. I have a girlfriend. Her name is Anna. Sure you do. Sure you do. So, someone else is in danger. If Dog wouldn't have interrupted, we would have found out who. Who or what are you scared of? Something happened to me. I can't really put it into words. But I might be in need of some help. Do you think something can come back from the dead? Please tell me it's not zombies. That's so cliched these days. What Truth. about ghosts? A vengeful ghost. Would that pique your interest? Ghost? You mean like a white sheet and shackles? No. More like a living horror hiding behind a mask, piercing the night with her shrilling voice. In our trade, things behind a mask are not supernatural. They're mostly janitors, water slide attendants, or nuns. You won't be laughing when the bodies start to pile up and they return. I don't think any of us is safe with her around. Maybe you're not the right people for this job. Now, now, girl, don't be scared by that guy. He's not very bright. But he means no disrespect. I'm the perfect man for the job, you know? No matter what the job is, I created the code. A set of rules that keeps the paranormal and human world apart. So, you know, I have experience, if you know what I mean. So, we're dealing with a ghost. A female ghost at that. 
But who's the they she brought up? I wish Dog would have just let me conduct the interview. Man, Pizza Boy even snuck in a Scooby-Doo joke with the janitor and water slide attendant um, remark he made. What kind of job is it? A stakeout? Personal protection? You want an exorcism? That's overwhelming. Maybe I came to the wrong place. I don't know if a detective is really what I need. I mean, do you even know how to break a curse? Do you even deal with those things? Look, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find a way around it. We're here to help. But for that, we need you to speak up and tell us what happened. I think I'm involved in some kind of gypsy curse. <laughs> gypsy curses. There's no such thing. Dog. <clears throat> I, I mean, sure. We break everything. Curses, artifacts, covenants. If you can make it, we can break it. I see you don't believe me. But it's happening. I know what I heard. I've seen the gypsy curse with my own eyes. As a matter of fact, I think I've been seeing it all my life, but only now I came to realize what was happening. And it's dangerous. I don't feel safe anymore. No, of course we believe you. Like our motto says, satisfaction guaranteed. Take it from the alpha dog himself. So, she believes there's a gypsy curse involved, and she heard it from someone else. That's something, at least. Well, let's see what we learned so far. There is a ghost that might be after someone. And this ghost might be related to a gypsy curse. I'm sorry, but this is too vague. I don't know if we can make up a case out of this. I'm sorry, but I'm not the one being judged here. I want to see if you are worthy of my trust. Your job is to dig up what happened not only for me, but for everyone involved. As for the rest, what comes around goes around. What do you mean? Was that a threat? Well, I heard enough. We're taking your case, lovely lady. Let's discuss the details over dinner. Privately. Dog? I think she just threatened me. Nonsense, Yuriko. I will take her out for dinner now, and maybe to a movie to release stress. And who knows? We might even end up stopping for ice cream. <laughs> Remember, boy, <laughs> don't do a gypsy wrong, or everything you love will rot inside of you. <laughs> she got you, see? She's a blast. Don't wait up for us. Hey, this is awfully quiet and peaceful. It feels kind of nice. I wonder what's missing. I should probably pick up that phone. The phone is there. Anything else I can interact with? I don't have anything. Doc Mendoza, Paranormal Investigator Office. How may I help you? Eureka, I need your help. Now! It's an emergency. Dog! Long time no see. How are you? This is no time for formalities, Pizza Boy. Come and help me. I'm at Motel Romero. Be quick and bring Pazul. There's a goddamn gypsy curse in place. Okay, everyone. We're heading to Motel Romero. It seems like Dog got himself in some kind of trouble. Well, so far I'm really liking the art style. And the music. Voice acting? Eh, not so much. But, oh well. Two out of three ain't bad, right? Like this. This looks awesome. Wait here. I'm gonna give Dog a hand. So we got a graveyard and the lobby of the house. Looks like the only places I can go to. Oh, you can even hold down. Ah, if you press the other mouse button, it shows you the places you can go. Okay. Like a, a, a hint, I guess. 
I take it you came here for the fat man? Yeah. Has he broken anything yet? No, he's quite still. You can see it for yourself. He's in front of the telly. I should have seen that coming. So there you are. What happened to you? I'm in a cage, pizza boy. I thought you were smart enough to notice that. You could transform into a werewolf and free yourself. Why haven't you? I'm busy contemplating all the wrong decisions of my life. Like hiring you. Besides, the cage is made of solid silver. Werewolves are deadly allergic to silver. So, you want me to lift the cage? Oh. I called you because Candle Cove is on, and I can't turn the TV. But you could actually do that, yes. I wasn't expecting you to be of any help. But maybe you can free me, and then I can go upstairs. There is a suspect from my case hiding in there. After locking me in this cage, I believe we need to meet eye to eye. <sighs> All right. How did you get there in the first place? When you're me, you find enemies and peril every step you take. So you just sat down and triggered a trap that dropped the cage over you. That sums it up pretty good. Yep. What brought you to this motel, dog? I was following a lead for the case. Care to know where it is? Upstairs? Bingo. Are you sure you weren't trying to get lucky with the client? Those two aren't mutually exclusive. He's got a point. So, what should I do? How do I free you? You really are new to this, aren't you? No natural talents at all. See that rope on top of the cage? That's your visual cue. Find a way upstairs and see what you can do. Not that I'm hoping for a lot. With that attitude, I just might leave you there, dog. Never mind. All right, upstairs. That's a bomb cat. And a oh. Hey, doggy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Allow me to translate, pizza boy. I know how to speak dog. He says that you should consider your next step, or it might be your last. <laughs> he is the spawn of Cerberus, a true demon incarnate. And he will slit you open and feast on your guts. <laughs> oh my gosh. You hellish fiend! Is that the same mouth you use to lick your privates? What the hound said is just too horrible to translate. Believe me, I'm doing you a favor, Yuriko. Okay. I may have to find another way around it. That dog's a psycho. I better not mess with him. That dog's a psycho. I... That dog's a psycho. All right, all right, fine. One-eyed and bombed cat. Ugliness preserved for posterity. Yuck. Imagine... Ooh, I can take Ugh. it. This will leave tons of hair inside my jacket. It'll itch like hell. I don't suppose I could use the cat, maybe, to lure the dog away? He hates the cat at least as much as me. <laughs> nope. Being so low in the pecking order just depresses me. I gotta get this dog out of the way. Oh, I gotta... Okay. That dog is in my way. Hey, how do I get rid of the dog? Seriously? Pizza Boy, detective of the occult. 
scared by puppies. Don't make fun of me. I'm more brains than brawn. Then use your brain. Find things. Rub them together. Throw them at the dog. My feelings are slightly hurt. Right, so I gotta find something to rub against that embalmed Never cat. mind. Let's check out this basement. I want some costumes. Calendar. Furnace. Seems to be the only objects I can interact with. An array of different suits. Maybe for costume parties? Can I take one? I'm very comfortable with my jacket. It not only looks cool, but it has a lot of space in its inner pockets. It's not. It is a pretty nice jacket. Oh, there's a toy truck. I can't help but think what would happen if I stepped on that toy truck. I would probably slip and fall on my back, breaking my neck. But I can't die. That would require extra animation. <laughs> uh, can I take it? I can. Now I can finally realize my childhood dream of having a toy truck. Man, I can't wait to take this bad boy for a spin at the closest sandbox. I'll be king and all the other children will want to play with me. This is my chance of becoming popular, or I can just use it to help my lazy boss out. All right, that's yeah. A giant furnace. I wonder if it still works. Can, can we turn it on? No way, I'm picking that up. Oh, I don't want to pick it up. I just want it to turn it on. Maybe you know, use that crank, or I guess not. Um, all right. So it wants me to rub some things together. Can I rub the truck against the? Um, oh, TV. Uh, can I watch TV? And now I'm looking at the TV, not watching it. Well, can I switch the channel? I'm not watching TV during an investigation. That's dog's thing. All right, fair enough. Right, can I rub the truck against the cat? Will that create, like, static electricity, maybe? This is something I should have drawn in elementary school. Behold, that Catmobile. <laughs> Catmobile, huh? All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I gotta get closer to the dog. All right. I don't. <laughs> am I gonna? Am I gonna drive the Catmobile towards him? I mean, it is a point to click adventure. I've done weirder things. Nice. Well, that took care of that. Now I should go upstairs and find a way to free dog. Nice. The Catmobile. All right, we'll leave off here. Just getting started and warmed up. And uh, we'll uh, find a way to free dog and see where this wacky adventure takes us now so far not bad i mean obviously that was a super basic puzzle it's just getting started but if nothing else the art style in this game is fantastic and the music is awesome voice acting eh, a little kind of mediocre but i get it uh professional voice actors are expensive so it is what it is We'll pick up here next time.